lawn out here set up on the workbench at four inches wide and the length is 52 inches and this is our long end of our aprons. We ran it through the jointer then we ran the other end through the table saw to true it up. Now what I like to do on these aprons is run a little groove at the bottom. I think it looks good when you approach a table and you see this little decorative groove on the apron. But what I like to use for that is the Lee Nelson number 48. That's a tundra groove plane. And this is a copy of the old Stanley tundra groove plane. And uh, not a lot of people think about using that for this application because it's pretty much just meant to be made for tundra grooves, for flooring and such. But it really excels at making, making very accurate grooves when you need to make four or five grooves in a workpiece and they need to look uniform and look the same. And it's really easy to set up. You just set your fence for the groove setting, which takes about three or four seconds, if that, and then set the depth of cut and within 10 seconds of getting it out of the tool chest. If the iron is sharp, you're ready to go. Now another tool that you can use to do this same, uh, the same decorative piece here is the uh, plow plane. Now the plow plane is it sells at making grooves. That's the only thing it really does. That's the main purpose for it. But it takes a little bit longer to set up. You have to set your fence, set the depth of cut, and set how wide you want your cut to be. So it takes a few more minutes to set this thing up, but it does just as good. But when making grooves like this, I always like to grab this plane first. And the iron's easy to sharpen. It's always ready to go out of the tool chest. So we're going to cut these grooves here in the bottom and then assemble them to the legs. Before we do that, let me give you guys a little uh, picture of what we're after here. This is the short ends, and I've already joined them to the leg. As you can see at the bottom, a little groove that I put in there that really sets it off, I think. When you approach the table and you see that little groove on the bottom, I think it looks really good. You have to look over the mess. Whenever I got a project going, it never fails. My shop turns into a disaster. As soon as this table's done, I'm gonna to have to spend a whole day this cleaning it up in here. But anyways, let's get these grooves going. We'll see how they turn out. Don't know how I believe it. Now I'm no hand tool expert by no means. Uh, most of the stuff that I've learned have come from watching countless episodes of the Woodwright shop. When using this plane, this knob right here really is a it really throws you off. You know, by looking at it, you would think you would grab the front knob and the rear tote here and start pushing, Country but that's just through. not the way to do it. You gotta push the fence against the work while pushing down at the same time, Even and your backhand pretty says, much just pushes forward. There's a knot right in there. I have more trouble getting through that part, but we'll get on down through it. I'll be coming off the mountain to the city when I move. And it's not quite a hundred acres, no. But I guess that it will do. It'll have to do.